the hell's bells, Loretta Lynn? Get your ass out here. I don't think I can. Of course you can. What, what in the world? <laughs> this ain't me. I'm just a girl from Butcher Holler, and people only like me because I'm one of them. I go out there looking like a glamour puss. They're going to hate me. Well, who sold you that? Nobody. I, I don't know. Hey, people like you because you're good. Now, all this, this just means you take the job serious, and it is a job. Now, you want to be good at it? Well, then pull yourself together and let's go. That's one supportive friend right mm -hmm. there. Megan Hilty and Jesse Mueller star in Lifetime's new film, Patsy and Loretta. It tells the story of the close bond between famed country singers Patsy Cline and Loretta Lynn up until Cline's death in a plane crash in 1963. And although Megan and Jesse portray their characters' friendship beautifully and realistically on screen, they themselves aren't lifelong friends. Watch. We didn't connection. actually know each other really uh, before this began. Mm -mm. We had a couple mutual friends, and we actually met at, at a, a gathering for a friend of ours. That was the first time we met. Yeah. Um, but no, we, we were laughing the other day. We sort of had a first date in Nashville when we got there to start filming. I had arrived first and you arrived and you were very sweet and you were texting me. It's like, you want to go get a drink? Or I totally asked her out on a date. <laughs> I was like, I was <laughs> too. It went yeah. really well. I was nervous. Yeah, I was like, totally hit it off. Like, he's yeah. asking me on a date. I probably should put on yeah. mascara. How's I don't my hair. Yeah. 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 How's, yeah. Exactly, how's my hair? I mean, I know. But it ended well. It was like, there will be a second date. It was positive. Your... Yes, yes, yeah. there was. Yeah. Were your first impressions off about the other person? No. Oh, you no, because we have these two mutual yeah, friends really. uh, that are very close to both of us, and so they both kind of gave us the heads up of like, oh yeah, you, this this is gonna work really really well. Yeah. I felt like, and I still think you're fancy, but I. <laughs> well, then I've got you fooled. <laughs> but you know, I mean, like, I'm a very. I, but I guess, I guess I wasn't expecting you to be as down to earth as you are. Really? I wasn't expecting you to be as like. Funny and silly and goofy as you it's are. All, it's all my fake hair and my fake glasses. It, might be. <laughs> it presents it? like a yeah. refined is that what, sort yeah, of yeah. persona. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. but it's wow. like, it was just such a delight. I just, it was such a delight <laughs> to discover that she's just as big of a dork as I am. <laughs> so, Megan and Jesse are starring as country stars, but the two actresses are actually Broadway stars, it turns out. Yeah, Jesse's had roles in Waitress <laughs> and Carol King's Beautiful. May have heard of them. She sang with at the 2014 Tony Awards in New York City. As you can imagine, Jesse says it was a pretty memorable moment for her. We were so cool in the moment because. It was at the Tonys, it's these high stress situations, right? But to me, it was this this freedom of going like, because not everyone in the audience knew, but I knew Carol King was gonna walk out and start singing with <laughs> us at that point, because we got to practice. Gotta get to yeah. feel the anticipation. So, so I just got to go out there, like finish my quick change and run out, and like I sat at a piano and I started, and I was like, you just gotta get like three lines in, because then Carol King's gonna come out <laughs> and then we get to party. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's what it was. And because she is such a generous soul and just like, a bright soul, she she just walked out on that stage and just the look in her eyes, it was like, all right, Jess, let's go. Like she, Aww. she that's what it felt like. It felt like we were just having a party in Radio City Musical. Yeah, Megan had her own Broadway debut in Wicked starring alongside Adina Menzel and reveals that the night she was set to take the stage, she was actually a standby. Her nerves were pretty high that night, but Adina actually helped put her at ease. Adina came into the dressing room and she was like, hey, is there anything that you want to go over? And I was like, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I was so thing. nervous. <laughs> yeah. But I will never for, uh, I'll never forget what she said because she came in and she was like, you know what? Let's just go out there and make the show our own. And I will never forget that moment because mm. she, it was so kind and generous. She could have come in, she had just won her Tony for that role, and she could have said, hey, at this part, I need you to be standing right here, and right. at this part, I need you to sing it like this. Oh, hey, you want to run through for good our duet together? You know, and she didn't, you know, yeah. she, she gave me the permission to go out there and play with her that night instead of, like, trying to be a robot and, you know, fill in someone else's shoes. She mm -hmm. let me kind of walk in my own and be there with her, and it was, it made the night so special, um, and I, I have, taken it kind of upon myself to like hopefully treat other people like that yeah. too yeah. Mm -hmm. you know because it's i it was so powerful uh for her to to treat me with that kindness i can only hope that i can do that for other people but we still had one question could we ever see megan reprise her role in a reboot of the beloved musical theater inspired sitcom smash take a look Heck yeah! No. Of course. Do you think yeah. it's possible at all to get that group of people together? No, I don't know if it would be that exact group of people because people get 
people are fancy and busy. Busy, but, uh, fancy but I'm free, and busy, but I'm available. Yeah. I'm <laughs> home. Uh, no, you can uh, work it though with flashbacks. Absolutely. Not everybody needs to be in every episode. That's yeah. okay. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna make a phone call right after yeah. this.